One of the reasons I got the ARC was for the HDMI out onto my TV and uh, HD video playback. But uh, unfortunately there isn't a free video player that will do 720p MKVs. If I play this 720p MKV You'll notice that the video playback and the audio aren't in sync and uh, the video uh, stutters, there's a jerkiness on the video. So I'm going to update to version 145 and uh, show you the results. If I load up the same video in Dice Player, you'll notice the video is uh, fluid and uh, the audio is in sync. So I've now updated to 145. Two point three point three and build one four five. And I'm just gonna run through both programs again and playing the same video file. Uh, so first up is mobile player and running the same 720p MKV. Um, so build one four five fixes all the audio issues or sorry the video issues the video is fluid but it breaks audio there is uh, no audio at all if I try to use soft decoding so long press and software decoding no hardware acceleration So audio does work using software decoding, but um, if you can see it barely, the video is jagged and uh, it is no longer fluid. And there's a slight delay. Now I'm just going to run the same thing uh, using Dice Player. And running the same file. Just gonna skip to some random part. So again, Dice Player plays it fluidly uh, with the audio. Just gonna keep jumping around. Now I'm going to update to uh, build 4.0. I've now flashed the latest uh, 4.0 firmware and as you can see when plugged into HDMI out uh, it's now landscape instead of a uh, portrait and that goes for the home screen as well as uh, the app drawer. So I'm just going to go into settings to show the firmware version and this is the i firmware generic global 2.3.3 and the build number is uh, 4.0.8.2.368 
Uh, unfortunately, when going when back in uh, mobile player, I'm just going to load up a 720p, the same 720p MKV again. It takes a few moments to uh, start up. Um, as you can see, the the video is uh, smooth. There's no issues with video playback, but there, again, there's still no audio. And I'm just gonna. And another thing is, when using the HDMI out and you, using the volume controls, you can see the volume indicator on the phone, but it doesn't mirror it on the uh, TV. Um, so unfortunately it seems like the only thing that can play 720p flawlessly is uh, Dice Player which is a paid app. And uh, no, I don't know where to get it, you'll have to purchase it if you want it. So I'm just going to load it up, and as you can see the video is fine as well as audio. And that's MKV playback uh, using HDMI out on the Xperia Arc. In the last part of this video, I'm just going to demonstrate YouTube 720p high quality playback because some people have said that it doesn't work on the Arc. Um, I am using the latest version of YouTube off the market, 2.2.16, and this is build uh, 4.0. But it should work in build 3 as well as with the uh, 181 or 145 um, version ROMs. I've never had issues with YouTube playback. Uh, when it's not plugged in, you do get landscape and portrait modes, but when you plug in HDMI, it will only be uh, landscape. So I'll be right back once I plug it in. So I've now connected it to HDMI, and as you can see it only works in landscape mode. And there it is on the TV. And uh, this is my channel, so I'm just going to play back one, any one of these videos. Um, they are all available in 720p. So I'm just going to play this sample video. So when it's playing under regular definition or SD, uh, once it loads up, you can see that it doesn't take up the entire screen. There's a, the black border around it. Uh, same thing for the TV, you can just see it right there. So if I switch over to high quality, it's going to start streaming in 720p. And as you can see, it is fluid without any issues with sound or video. And it now does take up the entire TV, as well as the entire screen here. Focus, there we go. Um, again, I am connected uh, direct on 3G or H, and not over Wi-Fi. Uh, so there should not be any issues with 720 playback on YouTube.